What is poppin' guys? It's your boy Snail Waffle here, hitting you with another Immortal Realms base update video. By the way, if you're new here, welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to my build showcase. And even if you don't play in the server, stick around for some cool builds. But if you're interested in playing in Immortal Realms, link is in the description down below. Come on and join us, and you can visit this build in Survival War. And you know, consider subscribing, like the video, and be flat out awesome while doing so. It really helps me out a ton. Speaking of which, we just hit 100 subs. That is just so awesome. <laughs> I can't believe 100 plus of you just subbed, so thank you all for subscribing. So eat your waffle with maple syrup, and let's do this video. So welcome back to my survival one base, and here's what I've been up to for the past weeks. So the first thing I added to my base is, well, McDonald's, because mm, why not? Hey, if you're gonna build a city, it's inevitable that you'll have some fast food chains popping left and right, and McDonald's is the first here. So on the outside, we got pretty much what you'd expect, a parking lot, and a drive through of course, we need that for convenience. So here's the entrance, and well, here's the thing that you used to order stuff while you look at the menu and probably take ages while doing so. And if you're unlucky to be the one waiting in line, you're like, come on bro, hurry up, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat some burgers. So after ordering and all, here's the cashier window, hey up, and move to the acclaim window. Thank you. And drive through done. Pretty fast, right? So let's go in, and the first thing to note here is the builder's flag. So shout out to Lunar Bunnies for helping out in building. Some features here is made by Lunar Bunnies and to Zoe who gave some stuff for this build. I really enjoy when you guys help out on building. Also shout out to the duck and the gang for the hilarious death moment while this was under construction. By the way guys, if I miss your name, comment down below if you've been here before. I'll be happy to put your name on the wall. So here's the cashier and the menu is looking kinda unreadable. We'll have to call the manager. Manager! We even got a delivery app line, Grab Food, Food Panda, and I don't know Talibat, but it must be a delivery app from Lunar Bunny's country. And we got the seats here, wash area, and the restroom. In the staff room, we got a bunch of cooking appliances here. I really like this grill that Lunar Bunny's made. So cash your view while you take customers' orders. And let's move on to the second floor. We got a bunch of seats here. And yes, we have a play place. And it's literally for ants. Sorry, no adults allowed. We got a restroom and a trash bin. Even got a cafe here made by Lunar Bunnies. By the way, let's name this the Lunar Bunnies building. So that's pretty much the McDonald's build and it's a simple one. I probably need to decorate it a little more. It's open 24 hours by the way. I honestly built this as a warm up while I think of something to build next and that next something is over there. But we'll save that for last. So I added an ice cream truck by the street because the McDonald's ice cream machine is broken. Just kidding, just kidding. This is by request of Azoi and here you go bro. It's really heartwarming when someone asks me to build something for them. So I named this truck accordingly. Zoe Ice. By the way, we can drive this thing and me and Doofin Smirch drove this thing to places. Speaking of which. Shout out to the lovely couple, Luffin Smirch and Macy Ford. Ah, sweet. So next we have this modern bridge. And I updated it a bit from the last video so it looks a little thicker and streamlined. Hmm, I haven't named it to someone yet. Let's name it the Danger 990 Bridge. In the next build, I'll probably fill this place up with free houses for you guys. I'll name this the Amy Street and we'll add another street in the other side. And I'll name it Mia Street. So the final one, welcome to the nightclub. This is probably the largest, most difficult thing I've built so far and I wouldn't have finished it all in time without buying Fly and a lot of help. Yeah, I know Fly is kinda cheating and survival, but I don't have another month to build this lol. <laughs> and these are all the people who've helped along the way. We'll do the shoutouts in the end, but for now, let me tour you around this nightclub. We'll start with the exterior, so I designed the shape according to the teardrop aerodynamic design of cars. It's a little small in scale to do some noticeable curvy details, uh, I'm honestly happy on how it turned out. Even if it's not exactly symmetrical, it looks like some kind of egg or snail shell. Hmm, snail shell. Subscribe! Anyway, the front entrance is inspired from a car grill. And the back is inspired from the rear diffuser of a car. 
we got some custom trees here, and this pad goes to the back. It's for the VIP accessing the back, and I'll probably build a parking lot access somewhere here in the future. Time to go inside. Welcome to the nightclub. Are you 18 plus? Just kidding, just kidding. Everyone is welcome here. So the walls are supposed to be some kind of acoustic panels so we could minimize the noise. Don't want to get some neighbors angry here. We got a bar with a kitchen, food and drinks for everybody. So what do you want? Lots of seats here for friends, couples, and family. Nothing is stronger than family. We have this massive end rod chandelier over this cute dance floor. And this is what I want. The end rods reflecting on the glass while I use shaders. God, it looks so good. And these crying obsidian as walls looks like they glitter. By the way, this checkered floor is made by Galimo RPRO. Shout out to him. There's also a restroom that never fails to be in every one of my build. Except for my villagers, cause you know, they're slaves. Got a giant closet. And of course, the DJ stage. Let's get some beats going on. Also, front row seats are expensive. You have to pay up to be close to DJ Waff. By the way, the render distance for entities here is really short, so I'll have to be very close to show you the speakers and lights that I installed. In the back, we got a fire exit and a backstage room for staff and a VIP room. We got a control area here for the lights. And in the VIP room, it's just a three-sided mirror for doing makeup. So what I was going for here is really just setting the mood and lighting to make you feel that there is really a party going on here. My favorite thing that I did here is using banners to simulate cove lighting and other lighting throughout the stage. So since this is my biggest and most complicated build so far, I'd like to dedicate this build to the owner of the server, Sir on MC. And there we go. We've reached 100 plus subs and getting YouTuber rank really helped in speeding up the views in this channel. So thanks again Sir Ron MC. This build is for you. Before we end the video, let's do the rest of the shoutouts. All of these people who helped out in building, giving or gathering stuff, just being there as a visitor, or just someone who checks out the build, or just someone saying hi. Thank you all. So shout out to Galimo RPRO, Tala Plays This, Suhail, Zarya, Big Man 23 of course, our wool sponsor, Crispy Bagel, Bigate Lit, Tempest Josh, Dr. Kurt, Modded, Pinpip, Zimson, Parker, Better Jacob, Krishna, Jock, Al Gamer XD, Rat Hit Kingry, Nameless, Will Rost, Jacob Nice, Roar PH, Gamer Fire OG, Lupin Smurfs, AC Ford, Urkel Laza, Vamp is Had Bit, Flix, Senpai, Water356, The Real FR1. Minecraft God 1, Yuki Bastente, no, Dragon Gaming 1, of course, thank you for the keys, Uzumaki Clan, of course, Naruto, aka Rise, Danger 990, Gamer Mark 3123, Bambusha, Gordon the Magician, Adam the Keith 1883, and Rambo, Darkness A, Tempest Bird, Lucas Folk, Ronoris, the Fort, Musa DJ, Watts, Lion, Yorwi, Abud 95XQ7, Spired in San, Brandon 125, Bob the Sad One, He's Sad, Shop Shoutout to PHX Mall, visit their shop at slash PW PHX Mall, and shoutouts done. By the way, I extended Chair Street a bit here with a bus stop, and will end building on the side of the base for now. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys loved it. Or learn some building stuff and ideas from it. Of course, you can always visit this place in the server, and please don't try to grieve. I'm pretty sure that'll get you banned, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace!